morning everybody John from Watertack so we got uh, four roofs on today this is the first one uh, just doing a little bit at the front and over the back of the garage there there's another roof so just um, two little ones we're doing here so we're gonna do this little one with a wand uh, make it nice and quick and then do the other one with a surface cleaner um, and see how we go. The last three will be all soft wash. So we'll keep you updated. Back roof. This is the back roof we're doing today, as well as the little front one. Pretty easy. And the surface cleaner over it and we're done. Pretty dirty. We just arrived at our second roof of the day. Tim's up on the roof running the hose. Nice tile roof. Um, so we're just back batch mixing our 6%, 200 litres. And it um, worked really nice on um, getting that done. That'll come up really nice once it's finished. See if we can get some before and after photos. Just getting it up, putting start to put the chemical on there, starting to treat it. When you're getting the tiles, you want to make sure you give them a good soak. Um, and that make sure the, sur the chemical gets on every surface. I've already pre-soaked all the ground down here. We've got the hose there to hit it after it goes past again. Make sure everything gets watered down. You're doing a good job, mate. Good job there. Watch his hose is going. All right, second roof for the day. Um, I'll show a little bit more a little bit later. Yeah, can't quite see it on the camera. Mm -hmm. Might be able to see that. <laughs> so, that's pretty good. Yeah, so you got nice clean roof. They'll give it. Uh, a little bit of a rinse because it is pretty strong today. Um, Tim's up there working, you can see where we haven't cleaned. Some are, um, some are a little bit more stubborn than others, so they get a couple of hits. Yeah, the, you, you find the ridge cappings tend to be, you have to hit them twice because yeah. it gets really embedded into that mortar. Yeah. Um, then go down across that front. And yeah. I'll wash this. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm going to duck down and get more chemical for the yeah, next one. Uh, keys are right in the corner of the back of yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, Timmy's up on the roof, done a good job. Looks nice and shiny. And then you come to where we haven't cleaned yet. Oh, can't quite see it. Looking a bit drabby. That to that. Easy over there. Might get their neighbour's house. See what happens. So Tim's up there, you probably can't see him, he's over the top of the roof there. That roof is looking real nice now. All nice and clean and dry. But um, you know, what I do is I got my little workshop here. While there's two of us on the truck, you know, I've got my little washers in there to 
put on my signs so they stay a bit longer. Um, we that's our little sign we put that out in front of everybody's house when we wash it and then so i've got a whole bunch of them and then i got the new ones which are a little bit bigger than that one which we put on the main roads and stuff coming into the estates and then i got my pile of star pickets and my little pickets for my little signs so always remember to advertise you know that's a three dollar sign and these are six dollar signs but if you, i buy like three four hundred um it becomes cheaper i am i'm gonna get my logo like i love my shark um but i'm gonna get water attack redone so it's more bold and more readable so a couple of guys have told me about that. So I want to get that redesigned. And because, um, yeah, I washed the guy's house down and he designed my logo for me. And my um, my shark, he designed all that for a house wash. So it cost me um, three hours labor to wash his house down. And he designed all that up for me. So it hasn't cost me anything to get my logo but it's time to change that because I'm just it is it, it is hard to read. I see where he was going with the colours in it, but um, probably one colour would look really nice. So we're going to work on that one. I got another lady designing that up for me. Um, and yeah, that's my signage. I always put lawn signs out and I always put main road signs out every time I do a house. Because I guarantee I'll get one or two calls off it. So here we are putting the apple wash. And we got some, um, it's perfume chlorinated citrus, is about what we can get in Australia. Because I can't afford the postage from America, <laughs> it is way crazy. So we're just batch mixing that. Got the purple pink dye. You know, probably can't see that. So got the chems in there. Just mixing up another match. We're on the third job of the day. It is um, 9.30 already, two jobs down. So it's, an, it's a big-ish roof. I think there's about 250, 300 square meters on this one, but um, prime condition for soft wash. All right, you can see up underneath the eave there how clean it's going to come up. All right, sweet, stay tuned. We'll get into this once it gets filled up. To the top, it's better if you get it on the way up. Well, you get the bottom edge of the tiles too. Exactly. So it's always good to hit that. This roof is probably going to need repainting in three years after we wash this one. As you can see, Tim's washing, wash that side there. That's come up really clean. It's coming up with the tiles. It's got to be hit again. It's hit, uh, yes. So we've missed some sections down the bottom there because we've, we've turned it down where. Hit, it just needs to be hit again. It's yeah, that's right. it needs to be hit again. Yeah, just stubborn. Um, because we've watered it down a little bit on this one, so we're probably around a four and a half, five percent. With this roof and with the percentage that we're running, I'm running the um, the theory of just wash it, give it a good, um, good, give foot, uh, give it a good hit. And then uh, go back and give it a quick squirt, and it should bring it up quite nice. Yeah. Come out real nice, bud. Real nice. Um, it's there, and then it's. it's really nice. yes. All right. Just wanted to talk to you about when you're soft washing roofs and you're walking on the tiles. Um, we talked about algae, which algae is all that black stuff there. The biggest threat is when you're walking around, you got the soap, 
and stuff on the roof which you know you can walk on the roof with soap and and whatnot quite easy just you tread lightly make sure you're sure footed before you you move like tim is um, always step on your double tiles so you don't break anything but then when you come to spots like this um i don't think you can see it but that's that's mold so that's coming from bird poo and fecal matter and all that type of stuff when that's wet that's like ice on a roof so if you walk across there after you've cleaned it and you'll, you'll see all the orange patches when you clean it you'll slip off the roof it'll be like ice so they're the things you gotta watch when you're soft washing because you normally get it on the peaks on the southern side of the tile roofs uh, which is, is kind of on the west side or the east side of the roof but it's on an area where the birds sit so it's been covered in in fecal matter and whatnot and it runs all the way down there and it's like ground cover it'll start at the top and it'll run all the way down and it'll run into your drains and whatnot but that's what you have to look out for is that discoloration the green olive looking stuff that is a danger spot that you want to make sure you suss out before you wet it all right thanks for that john from water attack and that's tim over the back there washing thank you so here we are parked up in there we got a metal roof to do is our last one so tim's up on the I think metal roofs, we do not hop on the metal roofs, it's unsafe. So, we use a platform and we shoot the peaks. And then we rinse, then we're giving a good rinse now. We've already shot the front. You probably can't see any difference, but there's a pretty big black line. Let's see if we can see it. Uh, probably can't see it from there, but black line there goes yeah that's the fourth job of the day last one of the day get this done and home we go and then i got a little father's day thing with the kids to get to tim's got to go pick up his son and there we have it killing algae and mole Lichen, we've got a bit of lichen on this roof. Nice and easy. Never have to hop up on the roof. That's a four gallon of pump shooting in there, so that's got a fair bit of pressure in it. So when I step it up, I already got the 5.5, I just haven't put it on. I'll probably put it on next week, it's been so busy trying to get out of painting. Move on to washing. Here's our little trailer set up. Not much to it. Pretty basic, pretty primitive. So, there we go. So, we're in the backyard. We quoted this one off um, apps and stuff. So, there was a pool overhanging the roof. The roof overhanging the pool. So, Tim had to get on the roof there just to shoot that back nice and clean now but the reason being is all these big gum trees behind the house everything just covered it's covered in soot so you look at the shed see the shed yeah. what do you want mate water Add up. Oh, we're out. We have to mix up another batch. So as I was talking before, you can see all the black soot on the roof. A lot of it. See the middle there, where it, where it's clean. It's already come down from the top where he's washed the top of the roof there, 
with the chemicals and that's just the runoff. How it just cuts through the black. And then um, once he's finished up there, he'll come down and spray all this and this will just dissolve and disappear. And then around the front there, that's not as bad, but you get all these big canopies over, which cause everything to go black. He's just finished, he's just rinsing the roof. We always rinse the roof. It's already oxidized, but we don't want it oxidized too much more than that. So metal roofs, always a fair bit of rinsing. Panels, they're a little bit dirty still, but we'll wash them up.